Welcome to my home lab. In this new video, I'm going to install Open Media Vault 8, the beta version. A couple of days ago, I found a link on the Open Media Vault Extras website to Open Media Vault 8. You see here. We have some instructions to install Open Media Vault 8 Beta. You see it here. It's a rolling release. And you see here the web guy will not change significantly from Open Media Vault 7, at least at the beginning. So don't expect too much. You found here the instructions on the Open Media Vault. Forum, you see here, Open Media Vault is in beta phase. And you have to do two things. The first part and the second part. But first we need to install Debian 13. You see it here. See, to install Open Media Vault 8 on an already installed Debian 13. So the first thing we do is to download Debian. Debian 13, see it here, stable version. And you have here two possibilities, a small installation image or the complete. I selected the complete installation. You found here the link, you click on it and it's downloading. See it here. After we use Rufus to create a bootable USB drive. Again, you can download it here. I opened Rufus, selected the device, selected the Debian ISO. All the rest can stay like it is and start. Very important here, write in DD image mode. Very important for Debian. Okay. The data will be destroyed. Okay. And starting. See it here. Writing image. And we are busy. I speed up the video and come back when the image is created. Voilà. Our USB stick is ready. You can change the computer and start up with the Debian ISO. I have booted up the server with the newly created USB stick. We're going to use install. Et voilà. The first thing is the language. English, it's okay. Then the country, I live in Belgium, so other, Europe, Bel Belgium, the lo location, the keyboard, Belgium, the install is starting. Now we have to change some configuration. I speed up the process and if something has to fill in, I stop. So the first thing we do is to configure the network. You don't have to do anything. It's automatically. First is the name, the host name, the name of the server. Debian, that's okay for me. Domain name, I have that. No problem. The root password. Confirm. Then the full name. 
mine in. Okay. The username, my first name, that's okay. And the user password. Verify. Okay. Again, we speed up a little bit. First, we use the partition. In my case, the entire disk. That's okay. I select the disk. It's only earn 128 gigabyte. All files in one partition. Okay. Finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Again, okay. We are satisfied with the partitioning. Yes, write the changes to disk. And again, a speed up. Et voilà. Now, we configure the mirror network. Yes, Belgium. Debian.org, it's okay for me. Proxy, we don't have. Again, I speed up. Participate. No. Now, what we select. We don't need a desktop. We don't need GNOME. But we need an SSH server. Because it's easy to install from an SSH server. The standard system utilities, that's okay. Continue. Okay. Again, I speed up. Installing group to primary drive. Okay. Enter device manual, which shows our disk. Okay. Again, speed up. Okay, the installation is complete. We can remove the USB drive and boot up the system. I remove USB and continue. Again, speed up a little bit. Et voilà. We are at the login. Now I can change the computer and do an SSH connection from my Windows PC. Before we can connect to our new, new Debian server, we need to know the IP address. You can, you have many options, but I do the Linux way. So I log in with the root account. The password. Enter and we are logged in. It's very easy. Host name. Capital I. Et voilà. You see, we have an IP address 192.168.129.64. So we're going to use that IP address to create an SSH connection from the Windows PC to our new Debian server. I have opened the command line and do SSH, the username, and the IP address from our new Debian server. So 192.168.129.64. Because it's the first time we need to accept this and the password. Ebola, we are inside. Here, screen. And we go back to the Open Media Vault forum. See here the first step. We need to add some lines to etc. apt sources.list.d open media vault.list. So we copy. Everything here. Go back to our command line. 
Get something? You need to do it as root user. In command line and do as you. So root user. The password for the root. Et voilà. We are root user. Now we copy everything from the first step and do enter. Ebola. That's okay. Again, we go to the forum and go to the next step. Again, display more. We display everything. It's a couple of commands, but we can copy them in one time. Go back to the command line and paste them in. Enter. You see, I'm going to download a few things. I'm going to speed up the process. And if the server is ready, I come back to continue. Et voilà. The setup is finished. Now we can open our browser and log in to Open Media Vault 8. As you can see here, username is admin and the password Open Media Vault. And we have, of course, our IP address 192.168.129. 64. See, it's recommended to change the password, but it's only for testing, so we don't worry about that too much. We open a new browser window to 192.168.129.64. Enter. Et voilà. We have our login screen. As you can see, this one is quite new. So we do admin and the password open media vault. Login. Et voilà. We are logged in. We can this one we can close. We can go to the settings from file system, memory, you can select everything you want, even updates available, and save it. Et voilà, we have our dashboard. No updates. As you can see, here is not too much changed. You can go quickly about some things, but as you can see, most of the things are the same like Open Media Vault 7. But this one can change in the few months to go. We are at the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up or leave a comment. Thank you very much and see you later.